Today we are going to practice safe sun. So Glossier just launched their new sunscreen. As some of you might already know, I'm a Glossier rep, so um, I do get commission off sales. So if you do decide to use my link, which is right down below, on your first order you get 20% off your purchase and it's free shipping with $30 or more. In any case, they contacted me about making a video on practicing safe sun which I thought was really interesting because this is the first time I've ever been contacted by a brand to do a video about sunscreen and they sent me a whole box of different brands of sunscreen, not just their own. I've never worked with a company where they have a product launch and they send me competitors as well. So that, I thought that was really interesting. So the whole point of this video is that everyone's skin is different, like every preference is different. So I'm gonna list off the pros and cons of each sunscreen that I have here. All of these sunscreens have been featured on Into the Gloss, so they are a favorite already. So they're all great. They all have their pros and, and their cons. So all the sunscreens that they sent me, I use one a day. So um, this is my opinion on them. Obviously I haven't used them for an extended period of time. So I think it would be a better judge if I, I used all of these like in rotation since there's five of them Like maybe after 30 days do another like recap on it. So um, I'm just gonna give you my upfront opinion on it So take it with a grain of salt obviously and then do your research on it as well So the first one I'm gonna start with is the Glossier Invisible Shield It's a daily sunscreen, so it's not meant to be taken to the beach. It's not meant to um, go into the water, or going to the pool or anything like that. It's a very lightweight formula. So it's great just to keep in your medicine cabinet, keep in a cool, dry place, that kind of thing. And then apply it every day um, after you put on your moisturizer. So if you use the priming moisturizer, I use the priming moisturizer rich. I'll use that first and then apply the sunscreen over it. And I wear my makeup the exact same way each day. So I feel like this is a pretty fair judgment of all these um, different sunscreens, but the invisible shield actually keeps my makeup on longer than if I were to just use moisturizer alone. It goes on completely clear. It's like an invisible formula, obviously. It's um, a gel, so it spreads on super easily and then it just kind of sinks in. So it's kind of wet when you apply it, almost like a water-like formula. And then once it's done, it just dries completely clean and it looks like moisturizing on your skin without being heavy. There's no white cast, which is a huge, huge point for me because the sunscreen that I was wearing before this had a major white cast and I just use it just because I have to use sunscreen every day. I've been using sunscreen every day since I was like 18, so it's really important for me. It smells really good. It smells clean, kind of like citrusy. The packaging is beautiful. This is the first time where I'm like, because a lot of my guy friends really like Glossier, they're very interested in Glossier, but they won't use some of the products because it's so feminine looking. This is the only product I feel like so far that doesn't look very feminine. It's kind of androgynous. Maybe the bomb.com too, but this one I would feel completely safe like recommending it to a guy. It's vegan and gluten free. It has an antioxidant complex, so it's good for your skin. Now onto the negative things. So this is kind of negative, kind of positive. It's not water resistant, which a lot of sunscreens are. And the reason why this one isn't is because they wanted to make the formula as like sheer and light and clear as possible so they didn't make it water resistant. So it's good for every day. When I think of sunscreens, I think of like something that I can go swimming with. So, I mean, I don't swim every day, so this would be a good daily um, sunscreen. Another negative is that it's only one fluid ounces for $34, which is really expensive. And that's about the size of a foundation or like the little skin tint. I usually use about a quarter teaspoon amount of sunscreen on my face every day. So I'll plow through this very quickly. So that's the only major bummer. It's kind of expensive, but I guess it's all relative too because I spend a lot of money on my makeup. So I wouldn't mind purchasing this over and over again because I love the formula. I love that it's gel. I've never experienced anything like it. So I love this, but Obviously, um, weigh your options. Watch this whole video, weigh your options. And this is SPF 35. And the box is so cute too. I don't wanna throw it away because it looks like they put so much work into designing this. The next one I have here is from La Roche-Posay, which is the one that I was the most excited about using just because I've never used anything from this brand before. I've seen them in CVS. I know it's like a French cult following brand. The packaging looks really cool. It's like in the shaker bottle, so you're supposed to shake it up. It's a super watery formula. It's lightweight and it's super easy to blend. It gives my skin a soft texture, kind of matte, not greasy at all. And it keeps my makeup on longer. And the reason why I can tell is because I put on blush and that's usually the first thing to go. So it actually stays a fair amount of time. So that's great about this. It's water resistant for 80 minutes. So you can bring it to the beach, bring it to the pool. 
The only major bummer about this, which is gonna keep me from repurchasing it or even reusing it in general, is the fact that it's it just reeks of alcohol and as soon as I put it on, my skin started burning. So I think, I think it might be the alcohol, I'm not 100% sure, but it was just burning my face. So as soon as I put it on, I was like, oh my God, it feels like I'm putting like an alcohol, like really acidic swab on my face or whatever. So yeah, it's fragrance free, paraben free and tested on sensitive skin. I don't feel like I have sensitive skin, but it was still burning me. It's not even my time of the month or anything like that. I'm not like super sensitive or anything. So if there's any way for you to try it out before purchasing it, um, I would definitely recommend that. That's the only thing that really bums me out about this, and I don't know if anyone else has that same problem. It's 1.7 fluid ounces for $30. This next one is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Lightweight Clean Feel Sunscreen. I was really surprised by this one because I've used a lot of different Neutrogena sunscreens. I usually go for the SPF 100. Um, yeah, and they're usually kind of like moussey in a sense, a little bit heavy on the skin, gives a little bit of a white cast, a little bit hard to blend out. But this one really impressed me because it's completely lightweight, feels clean when you apply it onto your skin, it doesn't feel like sunscreen at all, it smells amazing, it keeps my makeup looking fresh, it keeps my skin looking moisturized without being greasy. It's water resistant for 80 minutes, so you can bring it to a swimming pool, bring it to the beach. It absorbs super quickly and feels like a moisturizer. I think it averages about 11 or maybe $10 at the drugstore, so you can find it at any drugstore. And it's for three fluid ounces, so it's super cheap. It's the cheapest in comparison to all the other sunscreens here, so I feel like this is the one that I would feel the least guilty about spreading all over my body, around my neck and my decollete and everything. Another thing that I've had a problem with in the past with this type of uh, sunscreen is that it leaks the cap for some reason. It's like a really brittle cap. So all my other sunscreens from Neutrogena, I've had that same problem. So I'm a little bit weary about using this. But if you're careful with your stuff, you don't just throw it in a bag, like throw it in a beach bag or whatever, then um, definitely give this a try. I'm sure you've already tried this too because it's such a popular one. So this one is the Kula Mineral Sunscreen Unscented Matte Tint Mineral BB Cream, Broad Spectrum SPF 30. So this is non-scented. Which I think is cool. I would rather have it be scented though because I like the smell of sunscreen, but I'm probably the only person who uh, likes that, so yeah. So when you put it on your hands, it feels almost like a moussey texture, which makes applying it so easy. It says that it's a BB cream, but it's even lighter coverage than the Glossier Skin Tint, in my opinion. There's like really no color at all. If anything, there's a little bit of a white cast, and then you have to blend it all the way in, and then it's sheer again, so. Yeah, I don't really understand the concept of this as a BB cream. It has a matte finish, it's not at all greasy, cruelty free, farm to face, and water resistant for 40 minutes. My only major gripe about this is that it's ridiculously hard to wash off. It keeps my makeup on for a much longer time. So when I put my skin tint on afterwards and I put like my whole face on, my blush and everything, this will keep my makeup on. Like it's almost like a primer. It works so well at keeping my makeup on that I went in with my Clarisonic to wash off my makeup and then when I pat my face with a towel afterwards, I still had makeup on my towel. It's 1.7 fluid ounces for $36, so it's a little bit on the pricier side, but I don't know, if you're like a makeup wearer, I definitely recommend this. If you're going to like an outdoor um, event, like, I don't know, a graduation or a wedding or something like that, where you need sun protection, but you need a little bit of coverage, and you need to make sure that your SPF stays on even when you're sweating, definitely go for this Kula one because I think it's great for that. All right, the last one I have here is the Elta MD Skincare UV Clear Broad Spectrum SPF 46. So the plus side is that it's super lightweight. It's like a very liquidy formula. It blends out super easily. The only thing is that it does leave a white cast, so blend it out really well. It's about $32 for 1.7 ounces. So onto the negative parts, the packaging isn't really exciting to me. And that's a huge deal for me. I don't know why, but when the packaging isn't really exciting, I don't really normally reach for it. So yeah, this isn't something I'm gonna repurchase. This is a mineral sunscreen, so it has zinc in it. It smells like metal. And I'm really sensitive to that, so when I apply it and right when I step outside, as soon as I turn my face, I can smell the zinc in it and it just, it really irritates me. I hate the smell of metal. So this is just not for me. I know that some people swear by zinc, so I know someone out there will love this, but it's just not for me. I just, I can't get past the smell. And it's not water resistant, oddly enough, because it smells like a typical sunscreen to me. But the cool thing is that it's for skin types that are prone to acne, rosacea, and hyperpigmentation, which is what I have. So I know it's good for me, but it's like kale. You don't wanna, actually I love kale, that's a bad reference. 
It's like something that's good for you that you just don't want to use. Yeah, you're right. So those are all the sunscreens that I got to try out. And this was really fun for me because I love trying out new things. So um, yeah, I really thoroughly enjoyed this. I hope you guys learned something from this video. If I'm leaving anything out, I'll try to put it in the description box down below. Or if you have any questions about anything, please like write it in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you guys do decide to use my reps link in the description box down below, then you can get 20% off your first order. And I think it's... $30 or more, you get free shipping. So if you guys do decide to use it, then thank you so much for the support. If you don't use it, thank you either way, and I hope you guys find a sunscreen that you like. I think these are all great. They all have their pros and cons. So thank you so much for watching, and practice safe sun.